Mets got an early Father's Day gift today with the announcement that Pete Alonso has been activated off the injured list was expected to miss three to four weeks instead he missed only eight games and he's back in the lineup today. Well, Carlos Carrasco takes the mound for the Mets he was in a lot of trouble in his last start against Pittsburgh but managed to limit the damage. Yeah he pitched in and out of trouble was only out there for four and two thirds innings only allowed two runs but the Mets lost that game against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Brendan Donovan leads off for the Cardinals. And this one driven toward left. That's curling toward the corner. That's going to get down and away from Canna. Donovan with an opposite field double, and the Cardinals are in flight here in the top of the first. Well, not a bad way to get the party started here on Father's Day. Donovan has been doing this a lot lately, going the other way. In five straight games, for Arenado is in one of those lulls. He's 0 for his last 13. Swing and a drive. Belted left field and deep. At the 370 side. That one's long gone. It's two to nothing. Oh my. Every bit of this one from Nolan Arenado got himself one of those hangers again, a curveball. I mean, he was sitting dead red, thigh high for number 14 of the season. Matthew Liberatore, a lead as he faces the Mets here in game three. Yeah, looking for Matthew Liberatore to bounce off of that last outing. It was a really good one against the Giants, going six strong, only giving up two earned runs. Brandon Nimmo hit the first pitch by Adam Wayne right out of the ballpark yesterday. Well, a little grounder hit to the right side and the peg to first where Donovan's playing defensively for the Cardinals. No one out here Starling Marte is working on an eight game hitting streak. And sharply hit towards second diving play scramble and throw terrifically done Nolan Gorman with a great play takes care of Marte. Nolan Gorman making that look easy I love it. Francisco batting right handed. And he drives one to deep left. That is going to be gone. A monstrous home run off the bat of Francisco Lindor in his first official at bat since his second daughter was born yesterday morning. Keith, girl dad power is real. That is a happy Father's Day home run from Francisco Lindor. 13th home run of the year, his eighth as a right hand batter. And it cuts the Cardinal lead to two to one. Pretty amazing. This man was supposed to miss a month after he was hit by a pitch in Atlanta. He missed 10 days. It's nuts. It really is. Swing and a miss. A high breaking ball gets Alonzo. But dad power on display in the first inning. Arenado a homer, Lindor a homer. And we head to the second. Andrew Kisner starting behind the plate for the Cardinals. He's got a hit in four of his last six starts. And a ground ball to third. Escobar has got it. And his throw is high. Dropped it first. The Mets have been very sure handed this year, but that was a terrible throw, and Alonzo couldn't keep the bag. He takes off, and Carrasco didn't see it, and he missed high and inside, and there's a big break. Error and a walk. Now Donovan, the batter, an opposite field double, and smoked up the middle. There's a base hit. Kissner had to hold up, but they're going to wave him. Nimmo will fire it in towards second. The Cardinals have him first and third. Donovan has a two hit game and we've got a two run lead again. Goldschmidt is your batter. Paul struck out on a breaking ball that backed up in the opening inning. The one two pitch. Swing line drive left center field. That's down for a hit. That'll score one. Donovan around second on his way to third. Pop's going to wave him. Here he comes around third. Throw coming in. No play at the plate. Goldie clears him with a double. Jeff McNeil down to seventh in the order against the left hander. And that nicks McNeil and he'll go to first mm. base. The McNeil takes over the club leadership eighth time he's been hit this year Escobar in the lineup against the left hand pitcher for good reason he's had good right handed swings this year and the curve ball hit out to center Edmund racing back to the warning track and can't make the catch it breaks off his glove around third is McNeil he will score Escobar will go all the way to third a triple for Eduardo Escobar and the Mets cut into the card the lead it's now five to two second triple of the year for Escobar bring up Nimmo with runners at the corners and mm. Kinzer knocks it down can it takes off for second he'll make it safely and Nimmo lines one the other way Walker toward the line diving can't get it it goes back to the wall Escobar is in Canna right behind him Nimmo turns second he's trying for third the relay throw and he is out at third base. 
Nemo trying to stretch a double into a triple makes the third out of third, but he drives in a pair with an opposite field double to cut the Cardinal lead to one run. He's had a harmonious time in his playing days here in New York. He'll try to add to a 5 4 lead. Swing, high, fly ball, wallop left. Timing is everything. De Young goes deep off the facade of the second deck. What a stroke right here by Paul De Young. He is just up there, locked in, just slowing things down. It is 10th home run of the season. They're still first and third, but now one out. Nolan Arenado, a two run homer in the first inning. Ground ball slowly hit to short. There's one. The turn is going to be close. Did he hold the bag? He did. Arenado thought Alonso's foot came off the pillow. Look at the end of this play. Watch the left foot of Arenado. He kicks Pete's foot back on the bag. After Liberator retired the first two batters in the fourth, they hit Baskin on a walk, but the tying runs on base. Canna, who walked in that three run second and scored a run. And the curveball hit toward the middle. That'll go through for a base hit. McNeil around third. He will score. Escobar to third. Marcana with a two out RBI single. And the Mets again pull within a run. It's six to five. There's Jordan Walker. Walker a walk and a ground out. Driven by Walker hard to right. Marte going back. Track backing up to the wall. It's going to be gone. Walker another opposite field homer. Is special. He has got special, special power. Opposite field again. Fastball away. This thing just gets up in the air and goes. And now runner in scoring position with two out for Tommy Pham. Stratton to the belt. Lindor leads from second. The pitch. Breaking ball hit in the air to right center. It's pretty deep. Edmund going into the gap. Way back, way back. It's gone. A two run game tying home run for Tommy Pham. His seventh home run of the year. It comes against his former club, the Cardinals. And the Mets have come back to even it up. The Mets seven, the Cardinals seven. So the Redbirds have runners first and second. Two gifts from the Mets. Let's see if Arenado can unwrap them here. Again, the 2 2. Struck him out. Went up and away at 96 to strike out Arenado and strand two. More good work from Dominic Leone to keep this game tied. Here's Arenado, a two run homer. That highlights his four trips to the plate. Swing drive, he did. Belted left. Cardinals have the lead. Happy Father's Day to Nolan Arenado. Gets his second one of the game. 92 mile an hour sinker. Middle, down, beautiful swing. And the Cardinals are back in front. Marte's gone 0 for 4 today as an eight game hitting streak on the line. Tying run at first with one out. I just don't like this defensive alignment with the second baseman up the middle. Chopper hit towards second. Step on the bag. Throw to first, and the Cardinals win the series. Hicks, outstanding work in the ninth. Arenado's homer in the ninth, and we're headed to Washington with an 8 7 win.